Alright there guys, what is up? Jay here and I'm bringing you a Photoshop tutorial on how to make your own YouTube thumbnails and can make them as unique as you want. This is just a quick tutorial requested by Mr. Zapperson because they were asking on Twitter how to make um, thumbnails and he wanted to learn how to do it. So this is a video for him and for you guys who are also wondering. So yeah, thumbnails are just like this. This is my own custom thumbnail for 130 second Moab on Money and Denk. So what you want to do is when you come on here, go to your video settings, edit, and then go to custom thumbnail. But it must be a maximum file size of two megabytes, a size, a picture size of twelve eighty by seven twenty, which is HD quality for YouTube, and also like a JPEG image. All right, guys. So these are other examples of great thumbnails. Like see, Nana's has got the object, the subject, which is Taylor Four, then him. The hidden, this is quirky, spooky one, and he's got this one with a title, his name, and then him. So yeah, guys, it's just a quick thing. So what you want to what you want to do is get Adobe Photoshop. I will provide links in the description if you want me to. Please leave a com comment if you want, so you can download this for free. And you just want to go to File, New, select this load, and go to Custom. Type in twelve eighty. And then down here, 720, and then RGB color, 2072 re resolution and transparent. Just click OK. Right then. So you want a background image. So you go to Google, type in maybe Call of Duty Black Ops 2, select an image, select this one, right click this, copy the image, go down to Photoshop again. Right, file. Where is it? Eh? Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, edit, paste. Right, and then edit, transform, and then go to scale. And you just want to hold down the shift key and drag in, the, drag the corners out so it fits. So I'll get it about like that, and then just drag it down so it fits. And do the same again with the same corner. Or you can just let go of shift so you can do it quickly. Press any of these buttons or click the tick to do this and then apply. So there you go, it fits. And since Mr. Zapperson is all about blues on his YouTube channel, we're just going to create a new layer by clicking this. Go to gradient tool, go up to here, click this, and we'll have the black, blue to black. Click OK. It's going to drag it down since it's the blue first. So we get that, so we get the blue and the black. And you want to go over here, click overlay, and there you go, we've got a nice blue effect for this picture, it makes it look better than that. So yeah. Now you want to go now you want text, don't you? Obviously to show people what the subject is. So you want to click the type tool and then drag a box. Pretty big, it doesn't matter where though. Then you want the person, so Mr. Zap. Uh, then, yep. Then it obviously doesn't stand out, so you want to double click on the layer. Then you want to go to maybe. I oh know, sorry. So yeah, out of glow. Yeah, out of glow. <laughs> then just. Up the opacity and that sort of stands out. And then you want the subject, which is say, I don't know, Call of Duty Black Black Ops 2. Say, so like, it gets 100 and 100 and 0 because it's amazing, it gets flawless. And you just want to to drag it into a space. Oh, well, it'd help if I typed it right. No, right. Let's delete that there. So, to redo it, just click type, click on the type, and then edit it. Then, since you've already got this out of glow, you want, it, you want it on this as well. So, double click again, out of glow. 
blast this up to one 100 we'll put a gradient, gradient overlay on as well so you want the same as before but you see it goes black to blue just reverse it then change the scale if you want to so by changing the scale it, it depends how much like, of the colours you want to blend there you go right, so you want the same for this for your title, your Mr Zappersnet title gradient overlay click it again click on the gradient click what you want, ok reverse this and that looks pretty cool by itself so ok and there you go guys that's how to make your own thumbnail in photoshop now when you finish you want to go to file save as go down here to where it says photoshop go down to jpeg and you want to call it mister that was not thumbnail well there you go i've already done it because i did a pre-recording on this but it failed so yeah just do all that what you want so jpeg ok Alright, so you see this is the file size, 672.2 kilobytes. Right? That's perfectly fine uh, since it's lower than 2 megabytes. But if you do have an image that is over 2 megabytes, you just want to go here, drag it down to 11, say, and it, the file size drops, but so does the quality. It don't, the quality doesn't drop by that much, I don't think, so it's not really bothered. Just get it so it's like 2 megabytes. That's probably the lowest I've had to take it to 9. And so, if you're perfectly fine, you've got lower than 2 megabytes, click OK. And then you're done. Go on to your YouTube, go on a video, click Edit. And then you'll come up with this page. These are your normal thumbnails. You've got a custom thumbnail. Find the image. So, yep, custom thumbnail. Mine's on desktop. Then you click the image and then open. And it'll come up there and you'll be done. Right guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Please leave a like, comment and subscribe and Mr. Zapperson, I hope you like this. Thanks for watching, see ya.